we're going to get a move on ladies and gentlemen and there's a reason why i'm in kovai let's talk tamil nadu then the story shifts the angle shifts and i'm live here in kovai it's a beautiful city amazing people one of the most affordable cities in the country mind you so you must pay this place a visit there are a lot of places to see in and around uh, be it temples be it hill stations be it factories and of course coimbatore itself but it's also right in the heart of the kongu belt kongu nadu cuisine is very famous the gounders form a very strong backward caste community and perhaps a very very strong water base in this region 39 seats looks about 2024 that's what sets up the story for the bjp which riding on the back of annamalai's yen man yen makkal padayatra is trying to make inroads and foray into what has been a dravidian bastion or a bastion for dravidian politics iconic parties for the last 4 to 5 years driven by their faces have had the share of the spoils with the national parties paying a poor poor distant second or perhaps a step knee this time around is the script going to change that's the question that we ask let's go let's go straight across to our guests i have sr shekhar ji with me here vanakkam namaskaram he is the state treasurer of the bjp and old hand with the party working very closely with the state bjp president mr annamalai now suman si raman political commentator with the b uh, now questioning the bjp is with us kovai satyan spokesperson of the admk is with us jagadishwaran ji spokesperson of the tvk with us and rajavel nagarajan cephalogist is also with us i'm just going to check who all are through with us uh, is mr suman si raman can you hear me sir yeah i can hear you anand yeah yeah okay uh, and kovai satyan ji is also with us namaste jai hind mr kovai satyan is time around uh, is there a three way fight or is the admk now finally going to come back into the nda fold yeah good evening welcome to my city i'm sorry i'm not there to host you in person probably <laughs> tomorrow if time permits i'll host yeah. you there and a small correction in your narrative uh, i look forward to that Yeah, Coimbatore okay. is a bastion of AIA DMK. It has given 10 out of 11 MLAs, and it has never been a bastion of DMK, which they are desperate to break it. So, it, going forward, it's going to be a bipolar politics, and in this game, AIA DMK is all set to make a comeback with a sweep. That is evident. Hmm. Tamil Nadu being a swing door policy state, 2014, yes, we took the entire numbers of 38. 2019, it was DMK. Now the game is all set for AI DMK with the highest level of anti-incumbency hmm. by DMK. Yes, there are large noises hmm. from BJP, but definitely those noises will not turn out to be votes favoring them to get a candidate on board for the parliament. That is what the situation is, and that's what the ground reality is. Hmm. So a lot of noise, but no traction. That's what Mr. Kovey Satyan is saying. <coughs> People are welcoming Anamalai. People are behind Anamalai, and uh, they are uh, receiving him with very encouraging portions. And uh, but uh, Anamalai is not contesting Lok Sabha elections. No. How do you know? Oh, what what okay. part? What party says he has to do it? Maybe his personal wish. Hmm. But he has to obey the party. So, so one seat out of thirty-nine is enough for the BJP? Is that what you are no. saying? normally the cephalogist and the political parties and the press like you media they are calculating only on the last election statistics in between so much water is flowing under the bridge and people are expecting in tamil nadu change the change hmm. after mgr after jailalitha everybody was expecting change hmm. 96 rajini gandh he did not do anything 2005 uh, uh, vijay gandh he did not do anything but after that when uh, annamali entered into politics it was a huge welcome all walks of life from uh, any uh, also religion any mm. all the religion mm. so the change the people started realizing definitely he will do it bjp is a party the organizational strength is very powerful very powerful base mm. the political head we did not have in the past mm. now he has fulfilled the vacancy and he is doing the expectation of the people and uh, as uh, our my friend satyan said 
bipolar hmm. definitely bipolar with bjp and dmk not any others no it's not oh, bjp and dmk and not uh, admk so is any that others what? any others so then it becomes a multipolar contest suman siraman what do you see happening in this fight for 39 seats do you see the admk and the bjp finding the importance of coming together do you see the bjp getting any traction for this uh, yenman enmarkal padayatra that is nearly 200 days now coming to its end now the pm is expected on 27th at uh, palalam uh, near tirupur uh, anand the bjp <laughs> is going to increase its vote share in tamil nadu it is not going to win anything and uh, as far as the aidmk is concerned they would significantly outpoll the bjp as far as these elections are concerned the, <laughs> the issue is the aidmk never really wanted to leave the nda they were literally driven out by mr anamali everybody knows that and in fact the aidmk leaders themselves are virtually on record as having said as much and even now the bjp high command says the doors are open so i think that you know you have to read between the lines or not even between the lines it is so obvious that the bjp has decided to put one person's ambition ahead of what would have been in the ideal interest for the party with the amount of anti incumbency that we see on the ground against the ruling dmk government the bjp aia dmk combined nda combined with the pmk and the other parties could comfortably have won at least half a dozen maybe even 10 seats in the uh, lok sabha elections now that's not going to happen because the divided opposition vote is going to make it much easier for the dmk congress combined to win the majority of seats if not uh, almost all the seats so i think that uh, okay. for whatever reason the bjp okay. high command either has been misled or led to believe by the social media hype that uh, the party was going to get 20% 25% vote share and so on uh, whereas the honest answer as mr prashant kishore also said is somewhere between 8 and 12% is what is expected for the party This is an improvement on the three percent that so they were getting well, earlier. It it's a big improvement. Okay, okay, but well. it's nowhere near so enough it, to win. No, no, uh, t- three. Correct. But in this case, then is it Annamalai himself, his own personal ambition? When he is on record, when he has spoken with us here at CNN News 18 to say he doesn't want the BJP to be a five-seat party. He wants it to be a fifty-seat party in the assembly, and he wants the BJP to also win Lok Sabha seats on its own merit. That's and and he wants to grow the party. That's his point of view. Now, is that a personal ambition, <laughs> Mr. Rajivel, or is that somewhere that even the the powers that be or the central leadership of the BJP believes that they need to increase their footprint in the south, and that includes Tamil Nadu along with Kerala? The first thing, uh, BJP is no more uh, a liability in Tamil Nadu. Okay, it was projected in such way that. Uh, bjp was always a liability in tamil nadu in whatever alliance uh, in whomsoever uh, uh, facts bjp in their alliance it was considered as a liability okay uh, for the past two years after anamalai survival the, uh, the the equation is completely changed okay uh, so we have to agree that and even uh, uh, suman uh, sri raman sir also will agree uh, even koi satyan will agree the same at the same time as uh, suman sir said there is a possibility for conversion okay probably if this uh, nda the same alliance partners would have continued this uh, election they would have turned almost 50 seats uh, 50% of seats which is almost 20 seats uh, they would have converted but now the situation is completely different a admk clearly declared uh, themselves that uh, they want to uh, contest this election under uh, their own alliance without bjp and even bjp uh, state president is very clear that he will obey the uh, orders of uh, high command but at the same time he want to lead the party in a different way he don't want to negotiate for the five seats and he don't want to project bjp as one more liability in tamil nadu anymore he declared it very well because today he is he completed his 100th day of enman enmakal almost uh, he covered uh, 220 uh, constituencies for i think so so uh, as a sociologist we traveled across uh, uh, various parts of tamil nadu and we were able to spot uh, uh, a huge spike in vote share of bjp uh, not only in uh, uh, the strong fort of bjp like uh, kongu also in uh, south we see some good uh, high especially in uh, constituencies like tenkasi trinelveli sivagangai you, you uh, have you have the experience of 
let me just interrupt you there i'm asking you because you have the experience of working with uh, other parties also the core tamil yes. parties if you were to say the admk aidmk and the dmk is there a shift on ground do people have had enough of this so called dravidian politics and do they want a change how does tamil nadu true, vote true. when it comes to lok sabha does it gravitate towards a See. party that it selected uh, in in the state or is there a different equation and then i'll bring in See, mr 2014 after you complete no, yes that's sir. that's what see uh, when when kovi satyan and as well as suman sir quoted about that uh, 2014 see 2014 is completely a different ball game okay uh, jailalitha straightly made a, a clear narrative that uh, she she asked people a simple question whether they want to choose modi or lady okay she made the clear uh, narrative very clear dmk was not at all in the game okay so that's why people give a clear mandate to a admk again when it comes to 2019 DMK made a clear uh, narrative it is anti modi okay so that anti modi work very well but when it comes to 2024 the narrative of tamil nadu is not yet set the ground is very clear so far from 1967 the ground narrative of tamil nadu was only set by DMK so we can even split the vote uh, complete voters of tamil nadu into two packets one is those who support DMK and another packet is those who oppose DMK which is anti DMK which is ADMK so far now that anti dmk vote share mm. is shifting from admk to multiple parties so we can see consistent growth of nam tamilar which is projecting themselves as a tamil nationalist party which is growing from 1% to 7% only with a single motto anti dmk okay they are projecting themselves as they are against the dravidian ideology so considering all these factors anamalai is also taking the same uh, weapon against the dravidian parties and he is declaring both the uh, dravidian parties as uh something to eradicate from uh, the tamil uh, so, so, soil okay whether people going to agree it or let's not let's by your logic let's let's but but you are then you are only then echoing what mr sumantraman said that a divided opposition or a division of votes which is so called anti dmk <coughs> against uh, over multiple parties who are not in an alliance will only help the dmk's cause in these 39 seats with respect to lok sabha at the moment mr jagadishwaran yep Uh, uh somebody was saying there is anti incumbency for dmk yes there is definitely anti incumbency for dmk but anti modi sentiment once again will triumph over anti incumbency of dmk i would i would say the results of 2019 will is just going to repeat in tamil nadu the, 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 the results will be the same the only thing is the vote percentage the win, winning margin will be less for dmk this time uh because uh, as somebody else was putting uh, there is uh, growth of nam tamilar uh, and bjp i would say They would, they would definitely increase the vote share, but I would not put mm. even for double digit. I would I would say somewhere between seven and eight percent. Nam Tamilar would go bit from ten to twelve percent. ADMK would get somewhere between eighteen percent to twenty percent. And I would say ADMK will go go to fourth places, even places in constituencies like Tootu Kudi and Kanya Kumari. They will even go to the fourth place. Nam Tamilar will be the will be the third a uh, third uh, will will go, come to the third place. So the results will almost be the same. Uh, that's what uh, that's what I see. The The, because the anti modi sentiments is definitely there again once again in in the hearts of people, in the minds of people of tamil nadu if the admk bjp combine would have uh, i mean if if that uh, alliance would have been there then they could have still given i wouldn't say they would still uh, win many seats i would say they would have definitely given fight in at, at least 15 seats even now if pmk is joining hands with uh, admk dharmaburi might go for anbumadi ramadas it might because this one year uh, uh, cast uh, equations work very well for red party policy once again this will happen but we are still not sure pmk is going with bjp or uh, um, admk so we, are, we still have to uh, wait for that other than that i would say the the, uh, the results will be the same as of 2019 it will be uh, again once again i mean rest of so, india so might be voting in a different pattern so, but so you are tamil also nadu saying yeah but tamil nadu anti modi sentiment is going to be greater than the anti dmk sentiment and vote gains for nam tamil or bjp but vote erosion vote share erosion for the admk but overall this will only help the dmk combine your thoughts mr shekhar and then i'll bring in kovai satyan my, my friends here who all spoke now they are talking about the past statistics and table top thinking we are in the field we know the pulse of the people we read the pulse of the people we surveyed the people we uh, seen the reaction of the people it is not like 18 change to 16 or 20 that was my friends uh, uh, mm. reaction for your questions now i am telling after M, after uh, karunanidhi there was a change mgr mm. mgr was nothing 
totally turned tamilnadu in favor of him now it is like dosa on one side completely id uh, mm. uh, next side totally 100% <laughs> but, the, but sir, totally 100% but mgr sir not himself ten, <laughs> yes. mgr sir enjoyed a star uh, value that icon value that benefited both mgr sir and also jaylalitha you are, you, you, okay. you 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 are, uh, i am just saying kalegner himself had had sir, an iconic uh, you sir, know we have self seen after so, mgr where so was the does Gandhi? anna malay have that same stature i am asking, asking you second I, secondly i am also asking you sir will tamil nadu actually vote above rising above its own caste lines because all these belts are also driven by who holds sway in their caste lines in their caste people community. are expecting a change massive change waiting for the change why 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 didn't uh, rajinikanth come up why didn't vijaykanth come up hmm. it is no star no cinema it is a person who perform he performed as an ipr abhi ips officer is a promising youngster there is a very powerful organizational strength ideological strength and modi's achievement strength behind bjp in tamil nadu so we will all you know but all these statistics will become the you know, argument is the anti modi sentiment is greater than the anti dmk sentiment koi satyan ji please come in and say that the admk will lose one, one minute one, one minute. minute there is no anti modi sentiment now it is pro modi sentiment in tamil nadu there is not at all anti modi it was again they are taking 2019 statistics 2024 is totally different all these people are not in the field we are ground level field worker we are reading the pulse of the people that's what we are telling okay we'll see how that pulse behaves and who it gives a heart attack but kovai satyan ji at right now the attention is most with the ai dmk see i don't want to quote history yes. because the narrative from bjp is not clear to their own party minutes then you can't expect people to understand the narrative my friend shaker says people want change does it mean that people want to change in modi's leadership or modi's rule that's how it will go to so let's understand the famous quote from gb shah a rational man adapts himself to the world an irrational man makes the world adapt to himself namalai projecting himself as an irrational person questioning the dravidian ideologies and trying to find a place in the political circle and arena in tamil nadu and people will not accept him because he is irrational in politics and he is a new comer and a new kid that's what i say all the noise created will not turn out into votes the noise will be there and the noise will die down in the very next moment the next day it cannot convert into a narrative and it definitely cannot snowball into a strong political narrative for the upcoming lok sabha elections bjp nor dmk had put forward anything convincing so that the people of tamil nadu can relate and understand to vote for the upcoming lok sabha elections bjp however strong they project they will only be vote spoilers for dmk history will say a dmk had faced the elections all by themselves where in dmk they cannot they have never gone on alone they are banking on the ally now their ally is in doldrums they are not in a comfort zone they are not in a comfortable position With highest level of anti-incumbency, okay. people like Jagdish Varan might write out A D M K saying that we have an eighty to eighty-two percent of vote bank, which is laughable. In the assembly itself, we have crossed thirty-three percent. Let's see. So Anand, let's see. understand the narrative but, is but clear. Anand, can Anand, can I, I, wise or wise? No, no. Anand, yeah, wow, coming to you, coming to you, coming to you, uh, Sumanji. I, I, so one, one second, Koi uh, Satyanji, just yeah. one one more question here. A lot of times, I, the dynamics in every state. will be different locally in terms of caste community groupings etc etc political ling- language etc messaging but a lot of times it comes to a core sentiment i want somebody to might up a fight against whom i don't have a vote be it the ruling disposition or anybody in this case let's say the person or the party to challenge is the dmk will the voter not see who is it that who's got the you know gumption to at least stand up and fight is the adm ke actually doing that because amongst all the analysis one thing oh. that comes out clearly is the maximum erosion in vote share will be for the adm ke no oh, i beg to differ on that, that. that's if the that that's the overall be... net crux sir anand hmm. anand if that were to be the case we wouldn't have got hmm. 50 hmm. lakh more members to the party as cadres we wouldn't have grown from 1.5 crores to 2 crores hmm. that 2 crores is almost 20% of tamil nadu population hmm. 33% of the eligible voters in tm so that's not an easy number which you can write it off what you say is absolutely right bjp as a national party will think national but bjp tamil nadu unit has to think local and act local just by taking the media space by posing questions to dmk doesn't give the solution to the people who are on the ground 
and and the party which stays on the ground and there with the people there with the voice of voiceless is aadmk with a series of protests that is happening on the ground the narrative has changed long back just because the media space is limited for aadmk doesn't mean that the entire political scenario of tamil nadu has changed and it is it has been changing towards favoring bjp or whatsoever it is today bjp so, tn so, is definitely so irrelevant on ground even now the only Hmm. So on ground, you are saying the only party to challenge the DMK <coughs> on ground, booth to booth, and also issue to issue, continues to be under Mr. Arapadi Pali Swami, the ADMK. Yes, yes Sumant Raman, and then uh, Mr. Jagdishwar. Yeah, uh, Anand, I have just two points to make. One, everyone said the AI yeah. DMK would break up. All the leaders will run away. Half of them will go to the BJP. Some of them will go to the DMK. so far virtually no leader of any consequence has left the aidm that is something which you have to credit mr edapadi parnichami for he has held the party together second yes there was a period of about a year when he did not function very effectively as an opposition leader and i think that many of us are very critical because tamil nadu needs a strong opposition over the last few weeks at least we have seen right. him be a little more active and you know uh, trying to uh, sort of take up uh, programs and protests and so on the point is as far as the bjp is concerned there is one fundamental issue while they have made lots of noise they have not followed up anything with any action mr annamalai is releasing dmk files periodically putting out audio tapes which are 10 years old now some of these tapes have been in public domain for 10 years and who is supposed to investigate them in the last 10 years it is the same cbi which comes under the central government though you may say it is autonomous or whatever it is a cage parrot it needs to take action nothing has been done on 2g nothing has been done on dozens of cases there is a telephone exchange case which is gathering dust going on for years together so who is yeah. mr anomaly no, so making these charges that he is only he is only hashing DMK out is a corrupt party hashing out hashing out No, no. Uh, so, Anand, so you are saying he is hashing uh, Anand, out old wine and new bottle. There is nothing. No, the there is a lot of noise. When the I, AIA DMK yeah. was in power, one, one, one second, Anand. When the AIA DMK was in power, the DMK took them to court on multiple issues. They took Mr. Yerapadi Parichami personally to court. Hmm. They took Mr. S P Velumani, the strong man from yeah. Kamathur, to court. Yeah. They filed case after case after case. Mr. Anamalai makes all these charges in press conferences and then moves on. Nothing happens if he has got evidence. Correct, but the point is, I can't the point is, but the point is, but the point is, they not that, that the, one case no, no, have they taken so that, to that, court. No, no, no. What, no. what, what? Okay, now please yield, sir. Please, please yield, please yield. The fact is that the ADMK has also not taken up the cudgels and taken the played the role of the opposition and ke, uh, given given the DMK a run for its money in Tamil Nadu. Agree. So the ADMK has also faltered there for one one and a half years is a long time. Wake up in the last four weeks is not enough. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that too late? In the day that Mr. Right. Pandey Swami is doing what he is doing, Mr. Jagdish Swaran, yeah. and then Rajvay. Yes, Mr. Jagdish. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sekar was saying, Mr. Sekar was saying uh, there is no anti-Modi sentiments. The only because there is still anti-Modi sentiments, yes. ADMK walked out of India Airlines. That is the main reason. See, I see Adam Pandey's plan as a long-term plan, which uh. he wants to be in place for 2026 Assembly elections. I, I don't think he cares much about this 2024 uh, right. Parliament elections. His plan is for, uh, for, for 2026. He is just putting out the plan. So he doesn't want the ADMK to be a baggage even in 2024, so that the minority votes comes back to ADMK. Then that, that is the main reason. Uh, I mean, he comes out of and, and, and irrespective of so many calls right from Amit Shah to local leaders saying the alliance is still open, still open. Yada party politician is putting it again and again saying no, we are not ready to uh, go for an alliance with BJP anymore. It is a, right. it, will, it will be the same for 24 as well as 26 because there is anti-Modi sentiment which will again work in as of for this election. This will again work in favor of DMK. and that is why i would say irrespective of the anti incumbency dmc this anti incumbency of dmk will definitely uh, be shown in 2026 assembly elections but for this 2024 parliament elections this is again going to be favorable for dmk only see okay see, I, 30 seconds i'm here. over on the By show default. already yes rajwen yeah i differ here see uh, when we take the 2019 elections even though as uh, mr shaker sir quoted like uh, Uh, we we are talking only based on the history i would like to place some uh, points which is favorable to him also when we take 2019 whatever the mandate given in tamil nadu we cannot take it only for modi okay that was the anti modi sentiment and that is the only narrative which dmk mm. framed very clearly 
but that was anti incumbency of the tamil nadu right. government which was a admk government which was leading tamil nadu from 2016 to 19 so if there is anti incumbency which will reflect in this election for which is against dmk if we take that anti incumbency into account right then automatically a admk has to come forward and take the blame of 2019 elections uh, results also okay we cannot simply throw the ball we cannot move the ball out of their court simply they cannot blame the partners okay if it is 2019 for anti modi and anti aa dmk government then this is going to be anti modi plus anti dmk government when it comes to 2024 there is a clear narrative here which right. is said by anomaly that is the difference right. that, that's what i'm right. trying to convey that's what i'm right. trying to convey right. anti modi wave is not okay. like we'll take this 90. forward we'll take this forward with the promise that we will do this again on thursday and we will do a test of the enman enmakal padyatra also since that uh, i'm here in goa so let's do because there is going to be a leg of it in singanallur we'll try and cover that and see if there is really any traction and what is the real mood on the ground thank you very much youtube watchers are saying that bjp can get up to 20% vote share in lok sabha 2024 we'll put that to test too thank you very much to all our viewers thank you very much winding up the right stand on that